On this week's episode of, hey, what's this movie? Who's watching this? And why the hell is it trending on Netflix? We have a brand new movie called, It's What's Inside. And I have the answer for you. <laughs> Not much. Let's talk about this movie in a, I guess, spoiler-free review. Okay, I wasted an hour and 40 minutes of my life watching this thing, so might as well give you a few minutes of a review. What's Inside is rated R, and I'm not entirely sure why, because truly nothing happens for most of this film. It is an hour 40, and it features a cast of good-looking 20-somethings. I'm not entirely sure what their ages are, but they're unlikable, I know that much, and I didn't care if any of them lived when the film was done. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of death in this movie, there's not a lot of humor, there's not a lot of really anything. This is considering itself a thriller, so let's get to the surface-level plot. Shelby and Cyrus are going to be the main protags here. Short for protagonists. And we start out on a bit of a rough patch with these two. They're just trying to spice up the relationship. See if they can get that physical connection to get in sync with their emotional one. Which is also uh, terrible. I I'm not sure why these two are together. They don't really ever have a good moment. They're not married. They're not even engaged. There's no ring on that finger. And they're hoping that by attending their friend's wedding party, this is going to give their relationship that spice. That kick in the direction it so desperately needs. Uh, it does not. It, in fact, does the opposite. Because they're not going to your average party in a multi-million dollar mansion that was left to the kid by his mom who died eight years ago. No, 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 no. We've all been there. No, the backdrop of this party is going to be set to a mysterious game that an estranged friend brought over. His name is Forbes. And right when he shows up, you're like, oh, he looks like a dude you shouldn't be friends with. But at the end of the day... None of these people are really friends. They pretend to be, but they all seem like trash. And so it's really hard to get on board with who's alive or who's who and, and where things are going in the story because you just don't care about any of them. I said who's who because that's what this is. It's a who's who of characters. They're all going to gather around in a circle jerk and Forbes is going to present this new mysterious game he's brought to the table where they hook on electrodes and they switch bodies. They freaky Friday. Now Shelby can finally get out of that basic, good-looking, youthful body. Gross. And put inside of another youthful body that's an influencer online. That's exciting. Now Cyrus doesn't have to be confined into a body where he's a stuttering idiot. Instead, he can look like someone entirely different and sound like a stuttering idiot. We have quite a collection of characters here, folks, and they all love their drugs, which brings another element to the table. Because it's not enough to just have people switch bodies and then try to guess who they are. That, that's the entire premise. They switch bodies and they have to guess who each other is. And, and they like it so much they want to keep doing it. Hilarity ensues. But on top of that, they're doing heavy amounts of drugs. So they're already having an out-of-body experience times two. There's just nothing I like more than watching the youth of today get high in their parents' mansion and then fuck around. It's so relatable. About 45 minutes into the movie of nothing really happening, I thought to myself, I don't need to do this. I don't need to watch this movie, do I? Who, who, who else is actually in good faith watching crap like this? And going online and saying, oh, what an experience. What an amazing roller coaster. The answer is no one. The answer's no one. It's another crappy Netflix movie. I kept pausing every five minutes to see how much was left. From a visual standpoint, it's doing things. Most of it I don't really care for, but I guess props for it trying other creative elements. Like, there's a scene where the two girls are talking about Forbes' wild night out on the town back in the day, and they do this with still images that are kind of flipping around based on the story. Didn't particularly like the effect, but I appreciate them kind of thinking outside the bun with it. As for the lighting, uh, it's basic... Oh, here, here's the lighting of the film. It's just this constantly. There's always a super harsh hitting light smashing them on one side of their face. It's green, it's pink, it's purple. Really every color of the rainbow is present. I'm getting really sick of this style of cinematography, this lighting effect. Again, there's no suspense, there's no thrills, there's no excitement of any kind. It's really just who's in whose body. Do you care? Because I didn't. I lost track of it because I really didn't get to know anyone that well and the people I knew I didn't like. And so when you're not on board with the characters, 
it doesn't really matter what happens next to him. And if there's not going to be any, oh my gosh, that was an insane moment in the film, then what are we doing here? Why is this made even? What are we doing here? Why was this made even? I often ask myself, but I think I've said enough. This was a complete miss for me. I would not recommend wasting your time with it. Even though Netflix puts it on that trending list, I just have to believe in my heart of hearts that it's all a lie. That, oh, a new movie came out, we just throw it in our trending feed and it's good. It doesn't necessarily mean anything, it's just Netflix has chosen it. Because that way more people see this video and they can hear me talk and they might be like, oh wow, this guy's, he's, eh, he's okay, I'll subscribe. I'll, I'll do that much for him and I would appreciate it. If you've been here for a while and you love what I'm doing, maybe think about supporting my one-man band by becoming a patron at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies. Well, there you go, my thoughts on the movie. Let me know if you saw it. Put a comment below. Please think about liking the video, sharing it around, whatever you need to do to say, hey, I, I watched this movie. This guy said what I felt. Watch this so I don't have to bitch to you for the next 10 minutes. He can do it for me. And I would appreciate that immensely. Hopefully... I catch you next time.